Montreal is home to 65,000 Spanish-speaking Canadians, most of them immigrants and refugees from South and Central America. The first wave fled here after military coups that spread across South America in the 1970s. One of them is Ana Maria Seifert. She was a political prisoner in Bolivia. She got out in 1973. She was told that if she wanted to live, she must go to the furthest possible place. August 21st, 1971, La Paz, Bolivia. The military coup that set the stage for Pinochet's more famous coup in Chile two years later. One of the main targets in La Paz was the university. My father insisted that I study. He made me return always to the image of my mother. She was an independent woman. You may be in charge of a home, but you must also be an independent professional woman. Ana Maria was arrested. She was 19 years old. After almost a year behind bars, her wealthy aunt got the regime to release her on condition that she go to the furthest possible place. Anna Maria Seifert made her way from Bolivian exile to Quebec. But to find her place here, she needed to reach out beyond the community of exiles. She needed to share her life with Quebecers. There's little time to reflect on her achievements. Today, Anna Maria celebrates the completion of her application to study for a doctorate. <laughs> Isn't it great? Uh, what you wrote, it's excellent. <laughs> It's been a long journey for Anna Maria, from prison in La Paz to working for social justice in Montreal, surrounded always by friends and family.